Twenty three was clearly a more difficult problem, but we did we were able to verify that this is true by the way. Able to do that. Now granted it took some time and effort to get through that, some thinking. You get through it, you get to it, all right? Now granted, if they give you something that's not true, you're never gonna be able to generate it, by the way. And this has happened to me before in exams where a teacher has actually given me something to prove that couldn't be proved. And then you get in the infinite loop and you wonder why things are not working out. Mistakes happen. Hopefully these um, notes that we're giving you um, are carefully worked through. However, if you think there's any errors, please bring it to my attention. But anyway, let's talk about the SAGE code. And you know, we've been doing this for a, a prior couple of problems, you know, defining the, the variable n um, as being some kind of variable. It's actually a parameter in a problem, assuming it's an integer. And I'm, I'm doing something interesting over here. And what I'm doing over here is I'm saying the left-hand side, right, the left-hand side. And you know, someone says, I wonder what the left-hand side is. You know, maybe I shouldn't have used left-hand side. But anyway, I'm gonna say over here is the left-hand side really should be the right-hand side, it's incidental, is this thing over here. But it's, it's being differentiated, all right? So it should equal the integrand. All right, let me put this over here. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna update my notes right now. I'm gonna call that right-hand side. Call this left-hand side. We'll make the correction as we go along. I'm compiling this thing. And I, again, I, I know I did this in a prior um, uh, video and I compiled it. It does take a little time to get through it. You know, it's a long doc, not, it's not long. I, I have books that are like 2,500 pages long that I've written and that, that takes a long time to compile when there's sage code in it. The reason this takes you know, a long time to, to, um, to compile is every time I write a sage command down and there's a ton of them in this document, it calls sage up, it asks it to compute the, doc, the, uh, the result of it. And it, it, it's rather tedious. It goes line by line looking for sage code. Anyway, it's still working on it. Let's see what happens. But you're gonna see this is right hand side, left hand side. And we'll talk about that when it comes up. You can see it running, right? I can. That's called the console, by the way. This is LaTeX with embedded Sage, and the embedded Sage is called Sage Tech. I do have embedded code, though, a lot of it. It's a useful product, by the way, Sage and Sage Tech. All right, we did it, we changed it. So I'm gonna go up here and copy this. I'm gonna go back to the terminal. I've already did the n variable and, and assume it's an, an integer. Okay, I did that. Right hand side. Right hand side is the integrand. And what I'm gonna do now is this Boolean, which is B-O-O-L. It stands for Boolean. And the Boolean basically asks the question, is the right hand side and the left hand side equal? So left hand side is it really the same thing as the right-hand side? And it should be. If this is true, it should be. It says it's true. It does it rather rapidly, by the way. Thank you.